Hello reality viewers, welcome back again to Reality Latest Gist. For this channel, now reality news now with the drop for here. And with the talk cam as it be. And now every day with the drop videos. We they also they react to every videos we come our way. If today now the first time we say you they come across our channel, you are highly welcome. Thank you very much for stopping by. And if you are returning subscribers, God bless you for always coming back to watch our videos. My dear viewers, make we watch this video to the end. Drop your opinion for the comment section. Like our videos and also share our videos if possible. Bye for now. You post one very dramatic picture when you hear of the arrest of IPOP leader Namdi Kanu. Very dramatic picture. You raise your hands into the air and you been the thank God for what you say happened at that moment. What did they go through your mind? He said, on Radio Biafra, that if they see me, his boys, they should behead me and kill all my children, destroy my home. And, you know, I, I played it down, but I was, I put, I put my life in the hands of God, that of my family. Because I was asking myself, has he, has he got into this? That you cannot hear, you know, voices that are not saying, no, we can't go this way. I'm older than him. I saw the civil war. He didn't see the civil war. I know what we went through. I didn't go to school during the Civil War. I was in primary six, primary five, when war started in 1967. And after the war, I started again in primary five. I went back to starting with primary five. And I understand what played out, the casualties, the pains, the tears, the losses. My father lost his business for that three years. And we said, do we have to go through this way again? I haven't seen it all because I know what he does not know. I have seen what he has not seen. I have the experience. So, has he come to this that if you have dissent voices, then the person will have to be killed? That's why I nailed down. He said, he said I nailed down. I just, no, my God. He could have been worse. Many people died. Killed many people. I said, no, I'm not celebrating there. I'm, I'm just thanking God that at least I may be a little bit free. That was only to them. Again, I'm looking at the big picture too. Do we have to go this way again? Because my people will say, if we are not at home, Children may wear snakes and call it necklaces. So, if not Biafra, how you go propose say make uh, how you go propose say make these issues of marginalization where the southeast they complain about, and indeed other 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 regions, other ethnic groups they complain. How you go propose make them solve this issue? The only thing I want me I want federal government to do is to give Igbo people additional states. I've been advocating for that for years now. Just one state. Because we work hard in this country. We built Abuja. Sizable number of Abuja. We built it. If all the governors gather here in Nigeria, all the taxis governors will be the least. Five. Others have six. One zone has seven. When they give us that six one, I'm gonna be the governor. Ah, let me go be the governor. I don't work for it. It means that immediately we have six governors, we have senators, we have more House of Rep members, three more senators, six or seven, eight House of Representatives, one state assembly, one state capital. 
one university, take off capital, more local governments. So many things will open up. 12,000 jobs will be created immediately. So up next, later this month, is the trial of Namdekani. So groups like Nwanezi, Indigo and others don't talk say. Now something we, we must happen on a fair note. It must be a fair trial. How, what do you get to talk about that? Well, we are all reaching but they have weighty evidence. Given what he said and what happened, do you think that they're going to blame all these boys in the South? It's about this destruction and killing of policemen and burning of police formations on those boys. He's their leader. They will bring these things before him. They will bring Gulag case before him. They will bring so many things. They will bring some of these videos I showed you now. You will see himself talking. So it's an evidence. You sold yourself out. That's the way it's going to go. The evidences or evidence are weighty. Totally unbelievable. Destroy, born, all kinds of invectives, abuses. He said the president is from Sudan, that the president has had died since that what is how Jibrim from Sudan. You see. We need to be wise. Those who move revolution are wise people, are supposed to be wise people. You don't, you don't play into the hands of your enemies. Because once you are taken away as the leader, your followers will just scatter. So you know things say I pop go recover from this? I wouldn't know. I wouldn't know. Maybe we there may be it's not necessary. I pop has been overtaken by events. War is no longer an option in the 21st century. Like I enjoy but I won't support it. I'm proudly Nigerian. And I will die a Nigerian. Now we'll talk about the 2023 elections where Go See Us gets a new Nigerian president. I make I just ask, for your party, the APC, North or South? South. We had an understanding. We had an understanding of gentleman deal. Not south. He settled. So power comes to the south, but I don't know where he's going. If he had if South East had played their politics, this is their time. But they refuse to engage with other people. They tie their hands with PDP. You believe say it will ever come the time will ever come where we will see an Igbo Nigerian president. I may be the one when the time comes. It's possible now. But you have to play the politics. You have to build the bridges. Okay. On a final note, uh, make I just ask this question because you mentioned them. So, now, question where people that ask. You talk about Ashua Jubala and Tinubu as a bridge maker, as a king maker, as a leader. Do you see him as the president? The president. Ha! If he becomes the president of this country, things will be okay. Oh. Things will be fine. He's a builder. He laid the foundation for the growth of Lagos. And Lagos is now the fifth largest economy in the world, in, in, in Africa. So he can deliver. He's a shattered accountant. Work with mobile. Rule Lagos. He was a senator. He has been a senator. Ah, he has a lot to bring to the table. You know, experience cannot be learned from taste books alone. So it has a lot to bring to the table, but the Nigerians that will decide.